Hello, everyone. My name is Skip Allen, and I love Corel Painter X3. Watch me paint while I tell you a bit about how Corel Painter has inspired me and allowed me to discover the joys of painting digitally. I graduated from art school in the late 60s. Don't start calculating. I'll be 69 this year. I have a BFA in crafts with an emphasis in pottery. I made pots for almost three decades, but old age and back injuries brought a halt to my potting days. In 2008, I discovered Corel Painter. I'm not a painter. Well, I've painted, but I wasn't formally trained except for the very basics. I wanted to do something creative, and Corel Painter looked like it might be fun. I had tried a few other things to get back to creating, but lost interest quickly. That was not the case with Corel Painter. Right out of the box, I was surprised at how realistic the brushes were. I have heard others say, and I have to agree, I thought I could smell the oil paint. <laughs> Painter was stocked full of supplies, brushes, paint, chalk, charcoal, and watercolor. You name it, and it was there. Add to those supplies papers, patterns, color sets, a mixer pad that works exactly like an artist's palette, and I was shocked. Everything I could imagine was waiting for me in my computer. Ah, uh, but could I use them? Well, I have to be honest and say not at first. Remember, I was a potter, not a painter. Sure, I had drawing skills, but I hadn't painted in over 40 years. I especially loved watercolor, and so naturally I tried that. Yikes! I remember traditional watercolor was tough. So was its digital counterpart. All was not lost. I found a whole community of wonderful Corel Painter users who had posted tutorials about anything you would ever want to know. I even found a school that specialized in classes about Painter. The Digital Art Academy and its teachers became my new best friends. In a few short months, I felt completely comfortable using Painter, so much so that the owner of the Digital Art Academy asked if I would like to teach some getting started classes. I was hesitant at first, but I'm so glad I said yes. It has been a joy working with folks who love to paint digitally. Painting digitally sounds sort of funny, doesn't it? As you can see, it is very similar to traditional. However, digital does have a few advantages. No cleanup. <laughs> That's really one of my favorites. No expensive art supplies to keep buying. And my real favorite, an undo function. Yep, I can undo the last 32 things I did. I can erase anything too. And if you've been paying attention to my painting, you will have seen that happen. <laughs> have you noticed that the watercolor flows? Yes, that is correct. Watercolor will flow on the page in any direction I want. It is so cool. In this particular painting, I'm not working as wet as I usually do. I'm working very dark, too. But that is the beauty of working digitally. If I didn't like the dark areas, I can lighten them with an opacity slider or a brush that works similar to lifting watercolor from paper. In this particular example, I added mats to the image. I didn't need to do that, but I seldom print my own work, so this makes it look a bit more finished. I could print, but I'm painting for the joy of it, and I don't sell my work. Today, I'm totally immersed in Corel Painter X3. I teach classes, maintain a blog with useful tips, and genuinely enjoy working with other Corel Painter enthusiasts. It's like I'm starting a new career at the ripe old age of 69. Seriously, it has just been for fun. Corel Painter X3 has enriched my life and helped me find a creative outlet I would never have experienced otherwise. Try Corel Painter X3. You will be glad that you did. You'll have a great time doing it. Hope to see you around the block. Take care. Bye-bye now.